GIMP now that you've installed it. And uh, GIMP is the GNU Image Manipulation Program. And it is a, uh, a wonderful tool for, um, for creating sprites, for doing just about anything you want. It's not Photoshop by any stretch of the imagination. But I hope you guys don't think that. Uh, but it is free. Photoshop is far from free. And so let's, uh, let's take a look at how we would go about just starting out learning how to make a sprite, a sprite sheet, actually. So what we have here is just the basic GIMP uh, outline. Here are the brush sizes. If you want to just click one, it creates a brush like that. Uh, it has a whole bunch of your uh, uh, parameters down here. And then what we're using is up in this area right here. So what we're going to do is just do File New. And we're going to use a template. And what we want to do is just get a basic, um, say, 336 by 280. That's, that's pretty good. We're going to make 32 by 32 um, sprites. So this is a pretty good, this will fit almost uh, six or seven sprites across at about four or five up, you know. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to say OK. And you'll notice that it comes up with a white background. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take, uh, well, for the view, and we're going to zoom. I like about 400%. Now this is going to be kind of problematic because we don't want a white background on our um, on our sprites. What we want is just a, a regular background. But white's a really nice color to draw your initial stuff on because you can see the coloring very, very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a layer. And... We're going to select transparency. And this is going to be actually what our sprite sheet is. It's going to be have sprites on the transparency layer. We're going to use the white as our, uh, as our viewing so that we can see it. At the end, we're going to delete the white layer. And uh, so here we have it. We select the white layer. And we're going to lock the background, but we're going to use the uh, we're going to use the uh, uh, transparent layer. Why that didn't just go away? I don't know. All right. So now, what are we going to do? I got black and white here. You could choose. If you click this, you can see it. You've got all the colors on the planet that you can use for this. We've got a single pixel black. So if I draw a head, wow, what artistic genius. Wow, that's definitely Pulitzer material there. Anyway, you want to kind of keep it up. 32 by 32 this is a pretty big and so we probably want to make this a little bit smaller but you can get the idea with this i can go in well what the heck Well, this is kind of irritating. There we go, finally. And now I can add color to this guy. Let's put a shirt on him. And if I make a mistake, I can use the eraser.
Except it didn't select a race. There we go. And then we can just keep going with this. What you want to do then is once you get your first sprite, you can copy it, paste it right next, next to it, and then flatten it down. And then like you'll want it for running man, you'll have to make the legs go back and forth and back and forth. And that's you'll have to have it for right and left. So just keep that in mind. You also have to have a sprite that walks away from you and a sprite that's walking towards you. As long as you got that, you can uh, you can just continue. So again, try to keep these down 32 by 32. And uh, we will uh, continue on. Uh, for this assignment, I want you guys to create a set of sprites that are walking to the right. That's, that's your assignment for today. All right.